in a small workshop outside Philadelphia, long after midnight. Strange sounds echoed through the quiet. The hiss of air motors, the rattle of an old compressor, and the clatter of tools. And then a sudden muffled shout, woohoo, inside that little lab. A man with silver gray hair stood grinning from ear to ear. His eyes shone with unmistakable light of discovery. That man was Francis McCabe, and this is his story. I'm Brian Sinclair, and this started as the story of Fran McCabe, but honestly, his life is far bigger than any single video could ever capture. From airplane pilot to prisoner, from innovator to icon, Fran lived an extraordinary life, but since this series focuses on alternate alternative inertial propulsion. Let's look at how Francis McCabe pushed that frontier. Francis was a NASA certified rocket scientist with over a hundred patents. Fran was certain that inertia, inertial propulsion was, wasn't just possible, it was inevitable. He built prototype after prototype to prove it. With the engineer's vision, Fran knew the gyroscope held immense potential, not just as, as a stabilizer or as a toy, but as a source of untapped energy. His propulsion systems ranged from self-regenerating ground vehicles to gyro-powered rail launch systems, and eventually self-propelled devices that could redefine the aerospace industry altogether. He was using the power of the gyroscope, not just a flywheel to multiply power output, an idea that mainstream said then and still says today is impossible. His self-generating ground vehicle used an ingenious airfoil to generate power from its own movement. It was ignored. Next came a gyro gyroscopic rail launch system, a design capable of sending payloads into low Earth orbit using nothing but rotational force, also ignored. Each success was met with silence, skepticism, or outright dismissal, but Fran didn't stop. He kept building and testing. Uh, he kept documenting, knowing that one day the world would finally pay attention. After decades in aerospace, Fran had mastered the very forces most engineers tried to suppress, centrifugal, centripetal, and Coriolis effects. Then came the revelation. What if these weren't forces to fight, but forces to actually use? He turned to the gyroscope, specifically the phenomenon of forced precession. It was poorly understood and often dismissed forced procession became the heart of his research. By controlling it, Fran discovered that motion and even usable power could be generated from within. Machines that seemed to defy logic suddenly came to life in his hands. Fran wasn't chasing fame or fortune. He wanted to make the world cleaner to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and expand what humanity thought was possible. And like Fran, well, that's my goal too, to do well for the world, not just from it. Because the truth is long range space travel can't rely on fuel alone. It's the limiting factor. But with inertial propulsion, acceleration could continue for weeks, months, even years. Definitely not fast at first, but unstoppable over time. I've collected a folder of rare, little known information on Fran McCabe, his work, and well, others like him. 
It's free for anyone who wants to learn. In the St. Clair R&D Library, which is also known as the Vault, you'll find the link in the description below. Because sharing knowledge is how these ideas survive. If you like hearing about innovators who dared to question the impossible, well, let me know in the comments below. Or if you would like to suggest another topic, drop that below too. And if you hit like and subscribe, you'll help this channel grow and help keep these stories alive. Until next time, keep experimenting, be good to each other, and please, by all means, be good to yourself. Brian out.